Welcome to the WSOE Weather Show, sponsored by Mrs. Simmons' fourth grade class. Weather is all around us, and it is important to understand how and where weather comes from. Understanding weather also helps us know how to be safe if the weather is dangerous. We have a special in-studio entertainment today. Water, the water song, the water cycle song, to teach us how water moves around the earth. Do you want to know about the water cycle? Yes, I do. The stages of the water cycle are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and runoff. Evaporation is when water comes up the air. So you're saying the water is going up to the air during the water cycle? Yes, but you can't see Why it. Why can't we see it? Because when the sun heats the water, the water goes up the air as a gas during evaporation. So you are saying we cannot see it? Right, Kaylee. Okay, we will sing the water cycle song now. Takes the water and moves it up and down and all around the earth the water cycle. Takes the water and moves it up and down and all around the earth the water cycle is very important to all of us. Thanks for singing that song and telling us all about the water cycle. We will now go to a commercial break. Hey, welcome to the best in town. I will show you about a rain gauge. A rain gauge has a little green thing that floats up when it rains enough to tell you how much precipitation fell. The red thing on the back helps you screw it on the stuff, like this. A rain gauge costs $21 and it's 26 inches. E and it's easy to keep clean. If you want to get a cheap way to see how much rain fell, come to the best in town. Hi, I'm Ion Haygood, and I think you should buy the wind vane. You will be able to know the direction of the wind. How cool is that? It has a decorative force, and you can put it outside your house, in the ground, or on the chimney, or a roof of, the, of a building. And it tells the direction the wind is blowing from. You can buy this wind vane for the low price of $12.99 in my store. This black wind vane will not only be helpful, but it will make your house or yard have more character. To tell us even more about the water cycle, Jakal was able to get an interview with the world famous hydrologist, Dr. Malia Hart. This is the world famous hydrologist, Dr. Hart. The water cycle is the best cycle in history. What is your active stage in a water cycle? My favorite is evaporation. Evaporation is the first stage of the water cycle. Evaporation happens when, they, when the sun heats the water and the water becomes vapor. Evaporation sounds like the water disappears. The water doesn't actually disappear. During this stage, the water is just in a different form, gas. You don't see the vapor. Oh, I get it. But what are the other stages? The next stage is condensation. Condensation happens when the water when the water goes up to the clouds and the clouds hold the water. So the water just stays there? No, that's when precipitation comes in. When the clouds have too much water in them, they just gotta let go. That's what I call rain, snow, sleet, and hail. What about the last one? The last one is runoff. Runoff is when that precipitation comes down and stuff like dirt and mud is, comes with it. Wow, the water cycle is so interesting. Thank you so much, Dr. Hart, for letting us interview you. Now over to the news desk. A fascinating interview. Thank you, Malia and Jakai. Sure, that interview with Dr. Hart has got me wondering more about the different types of clouds that the water cycle creates. Well, you know what? We got Dual Christian and Isaiah here to help us learn more about clouds and types of weather they bring. First up is Abdul's Cumulus Clouds. Hey, it's me, Abdul the Meteorologist. I'm about to tell you about the important cumulus cloud. The cumulus cloud, as we all know, is the big fluffy cloud. It kind of looks like a big marshmallow, but it can bring us bad weather if the cloud is dark gray. We call those clouds cumulonimbus. The cumulus cloud can be up to 6,000 meters high. Whoa, that's high. But that's only if it's bringing storms and heavy rain. It also can bring us hail, snow, rain, and sleet. The white cumulus clouds 
are the ones that can bring a beautiful sunset to identify if the cloud is a cumulus cloud. Think, is it big and fluffy? Does it, w does it look like it will be a, a cotton ball if you touched it? Well, that's all for this important segment on cumulus clouds. Now back to the news desk. Wow, Sheeler, I didn't know that cumulus clouds could bring rain if they turn gray. Wait, I hear we have breaking news. This is, this is a first alert weather forecast. Tornadoes have been spotted in the area. Keep the TVs or radio on to know if one is near you. Everyone needs to stay inside and go to a steadier building, like basements and rooms without windows. Those are the safest places Mobile homes and cars do not offer enough protection, so please find shelter and stay off the road. Tornadoes are a weather event that may happen during a strong thunderstorm like we, like we were just experiencing. Water droplets fall down and form in the, wet, the winds of tornadoes. Tornadoes can move as fast as 300 miles per hour Tornadoes can hurt and kill people, so follow these safe, the safety rules and stay inside in a safe space. Tornadoes start on the ground as a U-shape. They start on the ground, they get faster and faster and rise and turn into a funnel. The winds from Canada blow in the Mexico's winds. They, the opposite side, west and east that's how they get a rotating motion that's also how they spin faster and faster tornadoes happen more in the spring and summer because summer has more hotter air and spring has more cooler air wait i'm just hearing the threat of tornadoes is over over Woo. now back to our news desk for regularly scheduled programming i'm glad the threat of tornadoes has passed after the commercial break we will hear from justice Giselle, and sanaya about being a meteorologist and how they make weather forecasts an issue weather warnings to keep us all safe. If you always want a number, then you're in luck. Come to my store. Now let me tell you why you should buy it. It tells you how fast the wind is going. Also, it tells you that weather is coming. It is battery power one second update for Gus Captors Max Average. The price of my number is only $35. So if you really want one, come down to my store. Don't be shy. Hey, it's me, meteorologist Christian. I'm going to be talking about a funny joke. What kind of shorts do clouds wear? Thunderwear. <laughs> Gotta love a corny clouds joke. We are the weather forecast, also as known as meteorologists. We tell people about the weather. We also tell people if there is a hurricane, thunderstorms, and floods. We use types of weather tools to predict what kind of weather we will occur, like a rain gauge, thermometer, and wind vane. We also study how the weather will affect the Earth. Meteorologists use physics and chemistry alone to predict the weather. We also use computers and other tools to predict weather. We use satellites to see weather patterns. Before we had things to look at, weather patterns we just predict the weather weather forecasts also help people who work in agriculture and pollution control agencies and in the aviation maritime and in energy and industries now back to the news desk welcome back to the wsoe news show sponsored by miss simmons fourth grade class hearing about tornadoes and how meteorologists make forecasts has made me wonder more about the other types of clouds and how they form. We're, we're, we're in luck because Crescent is up next to tell us about the service cloud. Hey, it's me, meteorologist Christian. I'm going to be talking about cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are high, thin, and wispy. Clouds form by condensation in the water cycle. The regular cirrus clouds we mostly see are above me. Sometimes they can bring rain. Cirrus clouds can be 15 meters high because cirrus clouds are so high, they are made out of ice crystals. Isn't that cool? Well, 
That's all for Sears Clouds. Back to the news desk. You know that clouds can be made of ice. I wonder what other types of clouds there are. There's one more type. Stratus Isaiah is going to tell us all about them and the weather associated with them. Hello, I'm meteorologist Isaiah. I'm going to tell you about stratus clouds. On a sunny day, a cloud high in the sky can be a beautiful sight, but at other times, a cloud can be a sign of storms to come. Well, luckily, a stratus cloud usually never brings heavy rain, just light drizzle sometimes. Stratus clouds are low to the ground, and we often call them by other name, fog. That's right, the fog you drive through in the morning is actually a cloud. That's all for the stratus cloud. Now, back to the news desk. Thanks, Isaiah. After the commercial break, we will have an interesting segment on hurricanes. Raphael and Brooklyn will be telling us how they form and how we can be safe. Hi, I'm back again. It's me, Ion, with another great weather tool I sell at my store. You should buy the barometer for a price of $13.74. It measures the air pressure and tells you if it will be dry, cloudy, or stormy. It is also silver. It's really decorative, and I bet it would look really cool on one of the houses outside your house. You should really buy this item, and you could be a master at knowing what the weather will be without watching the weather show on TV. Hey, welcome to the best in town. Have you ever wanted to get a thermometer? Well, I'm your kid, because I can help you get a 16-inch white thermometer. Tall, right? No, not that tall. But anyway, thermometers can help you measure the weather. Cool, right? You should also buy one to know what to wear. But this thermometer is $9.99. Cheap, so come and buy some from the best in town. Hello. I'm Brooklyn, this is Raphael, and Jordan's behind the scene. Today we will tell you about hurricanes. Hurricanes start when wet air rises high in the air. The wind blows really hard, then it makes an eye. Hurricanes usually start as tropical storms. They form in the oceans. Hurricanes are measured by their wind speed. Hurricanes can be measured with a scale. A category five scale, ha, category five hurricane is the worst. Hurricane waves can get up to 20 feet high. Hurricanes can only form over warm water. In a hurricane, there's lots of heavy rain, strong winds, and flooding. Right. Hey, I'm Raphael. If a person gets injured during a hurricane, they could possibly kick the bucket. So it's important to follow simple safety rules. Here is some basic tips on how to survive a hurricane. Board up windows, put sandbags on the front door, get supplies for the storm, get water for your house, get canned goods like beans, fruit, tuna, and other also stuff like flashlights, batteries, and portable chargers. Hurricane group out. Now back to the news desk. And we're back to WSOE weather show. Sheila, I'm so glad Raphael and Brooklyn told us how to be safe during a hurricane. We've had several hurricanes land in South Carolina recently, so it's important we all know what to do. So oh, much about meteorologists. Me too. Wait! Sheila, did you hear that? It sounded like a thunderstorm. Oh no, I think a thunderstorm is headed our way. Quick, Edward and Stephanie, can you tell us how to be safe in these storms? Thunderstorms can be very dangerous, so it is very important to be safe during a storm. The most likely dangerous feature of the thunderstorm is lightning. Lightning can kill or seriously injure people, so it is important to follow these rules during thunderstorms. If you are outside or caught during a thunderstorm, it is important to stay away from trees because lightning strikes the tallest object. If you are inside a building or a car, stay away from the open door and window 
and electric appliance. There's lots of lightning during a thunderstorm, so please stay inside during a thunderstorm if you can. If you can. So remember, never stand under a tree. Don't go out to your car and don't take a shower and stay where you are inside. And if you are in the car, stay there and don't get out of the car. Edward, how they form. Did you know, did you know thun that thunderstorms develop between May and September in Southern Hemisphere and Northern hem Hemisphere? Hem develop in March and November. Thunderstorms occur almost in every other region from the world. However, they are rise, rosen in the region around North Pole and South Pole. That's all for thunderstorms and thunderstorms and thunderstorm safety. Now back to the news desk and stay safe, everyone. I'm so glad they were around to tell us what to do in a thunderstorm, sure. Me too, I am. Well, that's all for the WSOE Weather Channel, sponsored by Mrs. Simmons' fourth grade class. We hope you learned so many new things about weather and how to be safe during a severe thunderstorm. Have a great Seven Oaks Day!